Well, I'll I'll start. Are you? Oh, you're part. You already did it. Well, wow, you're good. You're good at yep. the tech, Jake. Yeah, here we are. So I'll say this: one one of the main things that we looked for was in character design was something unique, and most of what got, um, you know, aside from good drawing and and good drawing mechanics, we were looking for a unique shape language, uh, not predictable. So a lot of the ones that got eliminated were really well drawn. They were just predictable. And in this business, being predictable is not going to get you anywhere. So, right. Okay. So, it. I'm going to share a screen and we'll go through these. Um, we will go through these honorable mentions. So, let me see desktop one. And here we go. Dave Leak's yeah. Winter the witch adorable cute but you know at the end of the day um does it bring anything new to the the witch character thing it didn't but that said it is so well rendered so Very cute. well drawn and when we just compared it to the rest of the ones we so the way we pick them is we go through them all and it's just yes, no, yes, no. And we put all the yeses in a folder and we leave all the no's. And then we had a folder of 28 yeses. And so then we have to go through all these yeses. And That's why like, we almost okay. went to 32. Yeah. We're, We're like, like, well, let's just, just grab do... four more and do 32. And then, yeah. Because this one was a, easily a yes. But then when you start comparing them all, we're like, well, we've got this witch and we've mm -hmm. got this character. How do we do it? And so it just fell on the side of, of not quite, not quite. Mm -hmm. I, and you'll see this, it. you'll see the 16. And I, I think most people will agree they're, they're, there's unique qualities about them, really unique mm -hmm. qualities. So you want to just run th through these? Yep. Macy, really well drawn, like yeah. just a, just a great character design. That's why it's honorable. I like the thoughts. I like everything she's holding. Mm -hmm. Ivana of Maple Hollow. I get another really just beautiful looking. Uh, this is from Catherine. Guys. Yeah. And there we have Fiorella, the clever little witch. Mm -hmm. And here we have Donna T's. Danica and Dimitri. Mm -hmm. Again, really well done. Good stuff. Here's Gail's Grizzly. I mean, <laughs> Grizz by Gail Grizzly. This one, it was barely, it barely, barely left the, the top 16. Mm -hmm. Gary. I saw this one. I'm like, it's a it's a penguin. Well, Terry's gonna love it. You know, and I love so penguins. We, yeah, <laughs> it could almost. I mean that that R is a little little wonky. It could almost be cavy if you if you thought of that as a C. Um, but again, cute cute penguin. Here we have Lucy. That's my daughter's name. So, of course, I loved it. And Nibble, Nimble Whiskers. That's a cute name, too. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Millie. Another really well done one. Mm -hmm. by Kara Baisley. And. Uh, From Ray. Yep. Where is his name? I like this one a lot, too. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a samurai frog. This would go good in um, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic. Mm -hmm. um, and then lastly, we have Robert, 18th century young poet and lover of nature. Again, a clever design, but you know when you have to eliminate over ten, you know, twelve drawings from your twelve character designs from your list, you, you have to make some tough calls. Yep. And each one of these, as I go through them, I'm just like, oh, I can't believe we cut it. 
It gives us no pleasure to make those calls. No pleasure whatsoever. Okay. Um, you guys see in my screen still everything good? Yep. Okay. Let's let's get right down to it and do the first uh, the first battle here. Okay, we've got Josh versus Olga with Tillam and Pepe. So uh, as usual, I'm going to say why I like this one, why we chose it. Mm -hmm. Will's going to go in and say why he liked that one. And then we're going to let you, we're going to say one thing we liked, right? And then we're going to yeah. let you guys vote. So the thing that I like about uh, this one here, I'm trying to get my screen big enough, um, is the, the shape language. The, the 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 size of the hat and um, the drawing is nice. It's strong a, silhouette. Yeah, strong silhouette. It's unique. It's different. This is the thing when when a when an art director reviews your portfolio. That just keep in mind they have seen a thousand portfolios. The last thing they want to see is the stuff they've already seen a thousand times. So you've got to wake them up and shake the box. You've got to make them um, feel differently about your work. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So next we have Pepe by uh, Olga Herrera. And when I saw this character, I was like, oh, this character feels like it could live in the universe of, um, of like uh, Laika, you know, Laika, the, the, mm -hmm. The characters that I mean, the um, animation studio, right? They did like Coraline and Box Trolls, and also um, easily this could be in the world of um, of could, could could be like Jack Skellington's little brother, you know, from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. So it's just a an appealing design. You've got this classic two head tall, two heads tall. Um, design going on and then neat little decorations on this character so it's just a fun appealing character yep tim burton-esque is what they said in the in the chat <laughs> so let's go ahead and let you all vote i'm going to launch this which one wins are you team a or are you b all the way <laughs> <laughs> and um i organized the brackets um, today for this one, I organized them in a way that um, sort of like characters went up against each other. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll see what happens. That's nice. Okay, That's easier 80, for voting for sure. Yeah. 87% have voted. We need, we always like to end it at a 90% at least. So we need like one, just one more person to vote. And they voted. I'm ending the poll. I'm going to share these results. All right, Team A. Team A. A wins. A moves to the to the second round. All so, right, congratulations, congratulations, Josh. Josh. And anything on this one, Will? Any sort of critique on this to make it better? Um. It's done really well, and the, 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 it's 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 really consistent, you know. Yeah. Um. So, I don't know. I don't really have anything. How about you? I don't want to invent. I would something. say one one thing I would do is is it the head shape does get a little wonky. Um. You know, you look at some of these wobbly lines and and compare the front to the back, and just there's just some weird wonkiness to it. So. Um, and it's this, honestly, this sort of shape with the subtle planes and curves, a bald head essentially is like the hardest thing to draw on the human. It form. really is. It's um, so hard. Yeah. So you, you're, you're, when you decide to do a bald character or a round headed character that's, that has these subtle features, you better be ready to, to you better be able to cash the checks you're writing. <laughs> <laughs> essentially <laughs> okay next up we've got uh, jeremiah brown versus julia milana marine with their sally characters and marama 
characters. This is a good pairing so, because you've got a little bit more um, realism going on. Yeah, and and really when I look when I looked at the top sixteen, I saw a clear division. We had more realistic characters versus more cartoony characters. So it felt mm-hmm. weird to like to put to a cartoony character against a more realistic character because then it comes mm-hmm. down to like it's a little more subjective. Well, mm-hmm. you know, I like cartoony, and so I'm just going to vote cartoony when really you should be voting on skill and appeal and execution things like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what do you like about Sally's? Um, I like that the the, 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 the the anatomy and clothing are convincing in a really simple way. Mm-hmm. A really, really simple uh, line work and everything looks consistent from, from character to character pretty much. So, so, yeah. What was cool about this design too was the head is just a splatter. Yeah. It's like this ink splatter. And that's super creative. I actually don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, that's creative. That's really neat. Okay, and Marama, um, I think what... what got us for this one was um it's 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 a character it's a great explorer it's a character that i haven't seen um explored in sort of this children's book demographic that i think critique arena kind of kind of hits um i like the i like the hair design i like the the silhouette this this um this sort of, I guess, would be like indigenous um, clothing that she's wearing. Um, I assume she looks Polynesian to me, of some kind. So I just think it's a it's it's a cool cool looking character. Mm-hmm. Like all the little details on it. All right, let's vote. Let's have these two come together. I don't and... know why, but. Um... She, the character looks Mongolian to me. Yeah. I don't know why the poll isn't. I don't know why I can't launch the poll again. Uh oh. Give me a second here. For usually when, okay, relaunch. Okay, they changed a button on me. Usually there's a big button that says <laughs> relaunch and they hit it. That's so funny. Yeah, Julia, if you're here, what country is Marama from? See, she's not dressed Polynesian. Right? I think she is. I mean, you got the she, you got the, the flower? Uh, hibiscus flower in her hair. Okay, maybe I'm wrong then. She's got sort of like the the um, the pattern. New Ze- this is a close one. Uh, so New Zealand. Need... New Zealand. She's Maori. Okay. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. All right, we got ninety-two voted. It is so close, but I got to end it. I got to share the results. All right. And Another team A. Sally moves moves forward. Okay. One thing I would fix on this one is it does get a little, um, um, there's not a whole lot of contrast in the character. So we've got dark hair, we've got dark pants, we've got dark shoes. The skin is like a mid tone or Mm -hmm. even a darker gray. Um, and, and I just want to see more contrast in things. And I think that would really help this character to, to pop a little more. That's, I would agree with you, but I think that's like a five or 10% change. Mm-hmm. That's not why she didn't win. I'm gonna just right. say, I think well, like the, you know what, you know what it is for me? And it's a little thing. It? The boots on the upper left one mm-hmm. become a little um, with the style or getting a little ambiguous. Mm-hmm. compared to the boots on the the lower left and i wonder if that drawing affected anyone in there you know, and the other thing is you made such a big deal of that ink splotch hair yeah. on the other one on i 
can't remember the name, but uh, Sally. Yeah, maybe you swayed it with that. You never know. These are subtle things. Why people? <laughs> why people? Maybe we, don't, to, maybe we shouldn't say anything. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Hard to know. We don't have an alternate universe to see what would have happened. Right. All right. Okay, so, we got Julia Nowak versus Kelly Munninger. Mon, Mon, okay. Yeah, so these are different yet similar in that they're both Halloween type characters. Mm -hmm. um, I like the, I really like um, the Julia's, um, for especially for Inktober, this real inky, loose style. It's tight where it needs to be tight and it's loose mm -hmm. in, in places. And, uh, you know, yeah, that's what I like about it. And Squashly and Pulp. So we've got this raven and this, um, this jack-o'-lantern vine sort of character going. I just think it's a, it's such a cool idea. I just like the, the whole idea behind it. That you've got this living jack-o'-lantern. Its body's made out of vines. You've got a crow. I feel like I feel like this is something I haven't seen before, but yet it's very familiar. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's so the, like the, the drawing style mm -hmm. feels familiar. Yeah. But the but the the convention of the vine body feels new. Yeah. So yeah. let's relaunch this. See what people want. <laughs> Which do people want? I also like that name, Rambling Jim. <laughs> Rambling Jim. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, do you do any anything special for Halloween, or to in this for the spooky season? I did. I made a painting for for. We live in a weird place, and mm -hmm. actually have a painting outside. So. Okay. Do we, yeah. Was it the one you showed me, or is it new? Yeah. One? Okay, cool. It's kind of Halloween-ish, but not really. I'm going to do another one for next year. So nice. that's my plan every year is to, to swap that out outside. And are people? I'm going to end this poll really quick. Then I have a question. Yeah. Okay. Poll is ended. I'm going to share these results, and B wins. Okay. I forget how. What do you see when I share the results? Because I'm usually on the, the back end of this. Here, don't do anything. Okay. I'll take a picture with my phone and text it to you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, and I'll describe it so that basically I just see the results. But have, okay. have, hasn't Lee done it where you've seen that? No, I'm always the one driving. Oh. Well, there you go. I just sent it. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Kelly. Yours won. Julia. I would, my, my one critique on this is um, I, I probably want to see on this character. Um, what would I, what would I say? I, I like what you're saying, Will, about the, the, it being very inky. Like uh -huh. this is a, a thick brush, but I do want to see a little bit more control. <laughs> yeah, there's so, and that's the thing that I think would take this to the next level is if you can combine, and this is one of the toughest things to combine the loose with really good technical drawing and yeah. the, the anatomy falls apart in a few places. And it's tough to do a skeleton because obviously a skeleton can't, can't exist without connective tissues and stuff so you have to make tough decisions where things end up floating usually right and they just are they just are out there but they're still there and uh so technical te the technical side of the drawing so i just want to show you what i would do on here is like um let me zoom out a little bit so we've got you've got such thick lines on everything i would actually 
have thick lines on things overlapping, but then as they touch other planes, have them thin. And we get thick under here and you got like darkness in here, but maybe you would put like a shadow under there, but still just, instead of just going blah, 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 thick on all of this, to like really pay attention on where you want thick, where you want thin mm. on a lot of these, you know? Um, you could go a long way with silhouette too. So having this hand like overlap there, like a, 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 I think a better thing would be to have it like out here like this, you know, and that way it just reads more like a, a character walking from far away instead of like obscuring that hand in there and stuff like that. Have this hand like coming out like that. Just the more open you can make your characters, the, the better, you know, have a leg come out like that instead of having it so compressed. Okay. All right. Nice. Good tips. All right. Here we got Laura versus Catherine. Yeah. Okay. The, I'm just going to say right now, this is a tough, this would be a very tough decision for me. Mm-hmm. Very tough. Very tough. The the yeah. Lars is so well drawn. Um and really good contrast with the hair and the skin tone. Um that's what I like about it. Mm -hmm. Just very well drawn. So well drawn. Look at that face. Yep. Okay. Um, the moth herder. It's a this is a now, this is an interesting looking witch design I hadn't seen before. Mm -hmm. And I think what, what I really dig about this is the use of wet media mm -hmm. and how. And the like textures how in control. that they make. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's not a lot of line work, but they're getting all this um, silhouette and everything because. They, they've got such control of values. So then I want to direct people to this to Catherine's here. One of the things that makes this so nice, and you can say this about both, both of them, but it's it's the drawing in the little details that's done mm -hmm. so well. It's it's our tendency when we're learning how to how to become illustrators is to spend time on the big areas. And then when we get down to hands and feet, it's just to go, mm -hmm. ah, it's just a little tiny hand or a little tiny foot. If you spend the time to draw those hands and feet well, like both of these artists did, it, that's it's so convincing that 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 you've, you're dealing with quality images here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's launch this poll. I'm glad I'm not voting. I know, huh? <laughs> Okay, so I was going to ask you, what's the feedback you're getting on those paintings that you're making? Well, everyone's you, just you, barely coming back right now because because we oh. live in a place where everyone's snowbirds. So it's been there has our all of our neighbors have been gone and they're just one came back today, one came back a few days ago. So we'll see. Jury's out. That's cool. Okay, I, I check in your text to see what everybody sees. Oh, okay, so you could see even down to the percentage. Yeah. That's nice. All right. Everybody's voted or almost everybody's voted. So I'm going to end this poll and share the results. Oh, wow. So B all the way. All right. Seems to have taken this one. Now, And I wonder if it's because B is, I would say it's more, it's less predictable. You've. Yeah. It could just be the audience, you know, yeah. audience taste on this yeah. one. Um, because when I look at this and, and if I were to critique this, there's nothing, there's nothing to critique. If, if I saw this on a book, on the bookshelf at Barnes and Noble, I wouldn't think, what is this amateur hour for the publishing industry? What's going on? I would think, yeah. oh, this is, this is really appealing. Maybe, you know, see if my kids are interested in this. Yeah. 
So good job. All right, is that it? Yeah, let's go down to this side. Okay, we've got um, Sir John. Oh, I spelled the name wrong. There we go. Um, Sir Jana versus Braden. Braden is uh, is a multiple critique multiple critique arena winner. So, mm -hmm. um, so you know, good luck to him. Maybe he can do it again this time. But we have Keen Crumble versus Scriv and Mitz. Mm -hmm. So, um, what what is it? What do you like about Keen Crumble? Um, there's a couple of things. Just I like the uh, the use of value. So it's a it's a real attention to you know dark play dark play against light. So dark dark shoes, light pants, dark coat or dress. Mm -hmm. light bow you know and then to finish it with dark hair so i like the the value contrast and and i also like the shapes they're unpredictable less predictable mm -hmm. yeah cool um brayden's i think the thing that gets me is is um the i mean i'm trying to <laughs> single out one thing i'm going to say the line work this is some confident line work mm -hmm. this is a, this is a someone this is an artist who has uh, it's very comfortable with you know making these sweeping lines thicks and thins knows when to make it a thick line knows when to make it a thin line and uh, and it shows yep all right let's let's relaunch this watch that pole So it also launches for me, just FYI. Mm -hmm. And if I try to, to click on it, it says hosts and panelists cannot vote. Do you want me to give you permission to vote? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> just sharing that bit of information. Okay, right now, 87 per, 88 have voted, and it's um, 51.49. Oh, wow. So if we get, we could do one more vote, it could either, well, right now it's 50, 50, they're tied. So I'm going to, I got to wait for one more person to vote. Wow. And, and ending and the poll. There you go. I was just guessing that it would take about that long for someone to vote. <laughs> wow. So, wow. By one vote. All right. One stinking vote. Now you have to ask yourself, are people voting against Braden because he's uh, one or yeah. did, did he get edged out? I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. We'll see. Yeah, it could be. A, a, I doubt it's a sympathy vote, right? Like this. I, is I do too. I, I remember being, uh, you know, looking in the illustration annuals when I was in school. And uh, like Society of Illustrators or CA Magazine, and seeing the same people winning all the time, and going, why are the same people in this dang <laughs> illustration annual year after year? And uh, and then getting to be a judge for for uh, Society of Illustrators LA, and realizing like you've got to pick the best work. Mm -hmm. You just you have to you have to visit, pick the best work. So Braden has entered critique arena a few times with these character sheets that he's been doing and they're all really well done and they're they're super um appealing and nice however they are busy there's a lot going on in there and i think when you step back and you look at this where it's just like boom 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 you can see the character really easy mm -hmm. it's all good silhouetted versus this um it, you know it comes down to one vote deciding mm -hmm. the winner. That said, if Braden may be doing something bigger here than just what we're seeing, I have a feeling he's creating a universe and we might see a book with all these characters in it because mm -hmm. everything's so consistent. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he launches a Kickstarter or something. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, we've got another good Georgios thing. versus Josh Lewis. We got Blot Boy and Edward and Ron. 
So what do you, what do you say, Will? Um, I like the graphic quality of Blot Boy. That's what, that's what sticks out the mm -hmm. most is it's so legible. It would, you could see these making really good decals and stickers and stuff, you know, like they don't fall apart on the screen. He's, he understands graphic design, mm -hmm. making a strong statement. Yeah. So here we have uh, Edward and Ron. We've got a young mage and a small dragon pup. Now I've never heard of a dragon pup before, but essentially it's like a flying snake, which I think is cool. <laughs> it's a fun <laughs> idea. And, uh, and um, we got this character here. He's like a, like what's a, a mage is sort of like a magic person. I don't know. It's like a, 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 a wizard warlock type of thing. Um, he just has some nice appealing shape design to him. And, and again, Georgios is really good with, you know, strong inking abilities. And I think he's also doing something here too, because he does these really cool characters that all seem like they're in the same universe as well. So it'll be interesting to see what he does with all these characters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Relaunching the poll. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, it is. My wife made me a cookie. Look at that. What kind is that? Chocolate chip? Well, it's a chocolate chip with a little ball of mango in the middle. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, we got one. Let's do, okay, we've got 91%. Austin, oh. Austin, our Austin says that you're spoiled. I am. And I would, I would tend to agree with him. The only reason I have a cookie is because she said, I need a cookie. So she made, we have these frozen dough balls, cookie dough balls. Uh -huh. So she could just pop two in the oven and make you know, two <laughs> cookies really easy. Yeah, right, we we need poll. to run a cookie poll. They're asking for, <laughs> can you do chocolate chip versus chocolate and raisin? Yeah, I can do that. Or not chocolate raisin, just raisin, oatmeal raisin versus chocolate chip. <laughs> and I need to be able to vote on that. <laughs> All right, so Team A wins. Yeah. Team A moves to round <clears throat> two. Good job, Josh Lewis. I wonder if it's that graphic quality. Um, th these are so well drawn by um, Giorgio's. You know what I think well happened here? Yeah. People weren't voting against this. Mm -hmm. They were voting for this. Mm. I think that's going on. Because mm. when it comes down to these two, mm -hmm. what's super cool about this is this element of ink. He's got an inky liquid yeah. cape and cowl. The ink can be trolled and used in various ways. It's just a it's creative. The, the, the core of it is, is more creative. Yeah. So, all right. Will you run a poll? Real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. You guys okay. need to, to vote the right way on this. Let me let me set this up. What, what was it? Um, Chocolate chip versus oatmeal raisin. Okay. Is that, let me ask you guys, is that a good poll to run? Should there be a different cookie like a... Should we run a poll on whether or not it's a good <clears> poll? <throat> yeah. Yeah, run that poll real quick. We need to find out once and for all which cookie we should be eating. All right. Or peanut butter and cookies, yeah. Frosted sugar cookie. Yeah, see, the frosted sugar cookie, that's a good one, too. You know, the, night, the, the, the pink frosting, the kind of, if, if they're fresh, snickerdoodles comes up. Now Miriam's trying to sway the debate. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Make me so I can vote on this one. Oh, too late. Oh, okay. That's all right. I forgot. You guys will do the right thing. You know. You know what you're supposed to do here. <laughs> Think about it. 
You bite okay. into a cookie with oatmeal and raisins and you're disappointed. Yeah, see? <laughs> Would, if, if it was a choice between no cookie and oatmeal raisin, we'd all take oatmeal raisin. Yeah. We'd all eat it. And, that's we'd, enjoy, and we'd it enjoy it too. But there's really only one cookie you should ever crave. And that has, it's fresh out of the oven. And don't bring those milk chocolate chocolate chips. That's not the way it was designed. It was supposed to be semi-sweet because semi-sweet. it mixes with the cookie. And, and the cookie gives it more of the mellows out the semi-sweet mm-hmm. cold milk. You pour a glass of milk, put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. Well, am I, am like I getting off track here? You sound like you're kind of kind of sore on this. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a little, sorry. All right. <laughs> here we've got Jeremy Ross versus Merrick Halco. Again, another um, America's another um, that's uh, what is it? Critique Arena winner. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. I don't yeah. actually I should have said that. I don't want to sway the vote. All right. Tell us what you think of Penelope and Bunny. It's really fun. Uh, I love the gestures. That's what that's what uh, I think I like about this one the best uh-huh. is the there it this artist. Um, Jeremy went all in on getting these gestures right. So cool. Yeah. Um, this right here, Merrick, I love the uh, just the overall like character design. I hadn't ever seen. Here's what's cool. You know, it's a zebra. But how do you know it's a zebra? There's yeah. just the right amount of information. There's like, only. Uh, yeah. Um, you guys have a just, dog? Yeah, Walter's bugged about something. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So this is going to be a tough one. This would be a tough vote for me because they're so different. So it's like it's just going to come down to yeah the preference of it. I think so. I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah. Although the voting's pretty close. Pretty close. Well, you've only done Inktober once, right? That's correct. You think you'll ever do it again? I do. Oh, really? Yeah. What's the situation there? Um, I need to get through some of the projects that I needed to work on this this year. Mm-hmm. I had a project that I just had to work on, so. All right. It took its place. And... Jeremy moves to round two. All right. Good job, Jeremy. Congratulations. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, I Eric. also really liked Merrick's. And I, I, the thing that I liked about this one the most is that unexpected. I mean, I have never seen the zebra before. And it <laughs> took me a second. And I'm like, that's a zebra I'm looking at. This was, you know, when we were going over them. And, and that just, it's just cool. It's, it's their fun gestures. It's fun, fun shape language. I really like this one a lot. Cool. All right. Here we have Alia or Elia versus Peter. I put the two um, animals up against each other, cartoon mm-hmm. animals. <laughs> Very different rendering, but both animals. So. Boy, um, this one on the left by Allah, is that how you say it? Uh, Maybe. Ayla, Ayla, Ayla. Ayla. Really fun conventions there, you know, unconventional. Yeah. Um, with using the leaves as ears. And just really nice drawing in the little, in the little hands and, and limbs. That's. Mm-hmm. And that sells it right away. That, then you've got, anyway, that's what I, that's all I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs> and that is and why another this thing. one has to be <laughs> the one that wins. Yeah. Um, when I saw this, I'm like, oh, this, this is a style that is um, uh, so firmly established. Like you could tell this, this 
uh, artist isn't like fudging anything like they know uh-huh. what they're doing uh-huh. um i like the line work and i think i almost wish it was in color because i think that would take it to the next oh, level yeah, but as is you know we've seen huge success with uh like matt groaning's comic strips that then became you know the simpsons animated series this is a mm-hmm. tried and true established sort of linear s- style and it's kind of cool to see it um, with these proportions. All right, let's relaunch this poll. Vote responsibly, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, vote responsibly. (laughs) Critique Arena is one scenario in which there is no voter fraud. We will... Every vote is accounted for. Each each vote matters. Unless you have a, a ballot box that you're hiding, Will, back there. <laughs> All right, I think we're done. Oh, this is a 95% participation. Oh, wow. People are passionate. Okay. All right. Team Dude, I thought it would be closer than that. Did all the A's win? Uh, you know, if you Let's zoom out here, if that's true, no, you okay. These two yeah. B's won, yeah, but all the other A's that's interesting. So, so if you pair someone as a B, you're kind of putting a strike against them. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, don't go I, that I far. Think, I think some, I think color could have swayed this one. Yeah. Really, like you said, take some va- little value in color. That's the, yeah, that's the one thing I would, it's Inktober, so you can't do color. So it's, it's a catch 22. Like, right. But you can't disqualified do color if you did color, but if you, you did color, you can do color on Inktober, Jake. <laughs> you just don't have to care about the Inktober. That's true. Police. All right. Inktober police, right? <laughs> okay, lightning round. Let's let's. Um... So Diane's asking if this recording is going to be posted on YouTube. It is. It's uh, yeah. currently streaming on YouTube and will stay on YouTube forever, okay. as long as there's YouTube. Okay, let's. let's All right, now is your chance to just vote. We're, we're just do we're... these. These are going to be thirty just second round. Uh, voting rounds. Yeah, these so, rounds go a lot quicker. So. Put down that sandwich. Speaking of sandwiches, <laughs> yeah, I had a bad experience today. Oh yeah, I made it. I was hungry. I made a ham sandwich. So looking forward to it. I ate half the sandwich, and like five bites into it, I'm all this it tastes weird. There's like a weird mustard taste. I didn't put mustard on this. What is that? Mm. Kept eating it. Oh mm. man, that is. It's like a tangy, weird, unsettlingness to it. Mm-hmm. And finally, I like I examined the bread and the 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 the, the loaf Mold. that it was in. It was um, it was full of like spores. Yeah, mold spores. <laughs> mold. Yeah. yeah. Jake. I was eating moldy bread. Jake. <laughs> okay. That can't Indiana's be good bowl. for you. <laughs> so, I'm surprised I made it through critique arena. I thought I was going to be barfing, but we'll see. You're more resilient than that. Yeah. All right. Um, team A wins. Okay. All right. Now, this is one of those ones where I wonder if cute, the deciding factor goes to cute. What do you think? I think it is. And that's why I didn't want to put these up against a cute one at the beginning. You uh-huh. know? Yeah. Cute wins every time, guys. Every time. So... But when what if you have two that aren't cute? <laughs> right. We'll see. Okay, let me relaunch this poll. So Julie says the real reason why you got a cookie was to get that taste out of your mouth. It helped. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody else eaten moldy bread before? I have had one time and I but but that was like early on 
I'm mm-hmm. surprised you've made it into your late, what, late forties. <laughs> you do it once, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually pretty, pretty uh, neurotic about that kind of stuff. But this time I was just like hungry. Just make it. <laughs> okay, I'm ending this poll. This was a close one. See, right. when they're both not not exactly cute. Yeah. Then and so my feeling on again. this is that the the less conventional ones so far have won. Mm. The, the, Which means we have a group voting here that has very um they want tastes. unique. They're looking for unique. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Turn the lights right. on when you build a sandwich. <laughs> I should. Monica hey. says, yes, now I examine and smell every slice. <laughs> Blot Boy right. versus Keen Crumble. And five more seconds and then i'm ending this poll even though votes are coming in but okay we got to do this and boom share results all right blot boy so so if i ever enter critique arena i want to be placed on a not necessarily i mean b went all the way and i want to be on the left side of the of the the ladder yeah (laughs) probably (laughs) Okay. Oops. So Laura is saying no poll again. Is she, she, Laura, are you not seeing the poll? I don't know. We're getting plenty of votes. So it might be okay. it might be a com- a computer problem on her end. Oh, on an iPad. Oh. Mm, can't tell. I can't. I don't know. I think I think people can't do it on the iPad. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm relaunching the poll. Jill says she stopped seeing it halfway through. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. We're still getting, you know, 87, 88%. I wonder right, why gonna... we were never getting, you know, in the high 90s on percentages, but I think it's that iPad thing, maybe. Yeah, or maybe. Phone. Maybe. Okay, let's end this poll. And share the results. Karen asked if she could change her vote. No. <laughs> Once it's submitted, it's submitted. Oh, so Marissa says she can always see it on the iPad. Huh. So maybe it's not that. Hey, A1 again. All right. All right. Okay. Now, oh, man, A's going to win. Cute wins every time. (laughs) I wonder if people are going to vote against that just to, like, prove. (laughs) Now we're we're doing the the kind of meta thing. Yeah. mm. All right. Let's see what you guys think here. Tillam versus the Moth Herder. (laughs) <laughs> I'm, I'm curious if i swayed the vote by saying that that cute always wins <laughs> they're both oh, winner level yeah they they're are both winner level they are yeah absolutely absolutely okay ending the poll now sharing the results Oh, and the right. winner is B. So B. this is a prime example of, of a B going all the way. All the way. All right. I want to be to paired f- up on B if I ever do Critique Arena. Yeah. So congratulations, Catherine. Good job. Yeah, really nice. Okay. Now we have... This one's going to be tough, I think. This is going to be tough. Two creative, cute ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys ready? Relaunching the poll. Drum roll. Here we go. Oh, so close. 
I, I had a feeling. Got to think was... about what is. Um... Which one is more like a chocolate chip cookie? <laughs> <laughs> I need one more person to vote. I, it's, it's tied up. Wow. Okay. And we've got a few more votes in there. Maybe I'll wait. I'll wait for um, a 90%, a 95% participation. All right. Are you guys ready? I'm going to end right, it go. and now. So close. Wow. Very close. So close. Well, Ayla, when congratulations. So I think the only problem with this one was that it was on the B side. <laughs> <laughs> it's got great alliteration on the on the naming too. Blot boy yeah. just sounds. Baxter great. Barnes is Blot boy, so it's more alliteration than you even expected. Even, yeah. So good job, Josh. Congrats on making it that far, and congrats to oh both Josh's, Josh White and Josh Lewis. Our, our second round winners. Cool. Congratulations. Here's our critique arena winners for this, uh, for this month. Um, wow. Good job, you guys. Great. Impressive stuff. So yeah. we will, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll see you guys next time on this. Really nice stuff. Thanks for your yeah. hard work and participation. It's really fun to look at these. Mm -hmm. Yep. Enjoy it. And congratulations on everyone who made top 16 too. You guys, no slouches. You guys are good. Okay. All right. Okay. Now it's the after show. Right. We can let our hair down. <laughs> the after <Okay>. show. <laughs> hey, you guys are all still here. <laughs> I'm now going about those to... chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> what's up with what's up with the mango okay so there's yeah. these things called ruby snaps that's what yeah. that's what they are have you seen them in the grocery store no they're like little frozen bags of of chocolate chips and they just have interesting flavors and one of them is chocolate chip mango interesting and and if you want to have a nice <laughs> delightful cookie Go go get one of those. I would make the contention that those who put fruit in their chocolate chip cookies mm -hmm. don't really respect the cookie. They unless it's mango, man. It would be like it would be like taking an old Cadillac and and putting like a a fairing on the back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing: you're saying this. Uh, just on conjecture, you haven't actually tasted one. True, but I've seen, I've seen a wing on the back of a Cadillac that didn't belong. <laughs> Let me see. I wouldn't put any other fruit in a chocolate chip cookie. Oh, but but for some reason the mango. Because you ever have chocolate mango, like dried mangoes dipped in chocolate? Uh -uh. Have you had those? Mm -mm. That's. That's another good treat. And so for some reason, the flavor of mango and chocolate really go well All right. together. I, I'll have to leave room. I am, see, now they're talking about pizza now. And here's the thing. I am one of those guys who likes pineapple Canadian bacon pizza. Mm. And at first time I heard of it, you know, which was back in college, mm -hmm. I, you know, made fun of it. Did you scoff? Yeah, I did. I was one of those guys. You're like, it's like putting a, a fin on a Cadillac. Yeah. Uh-huh. I used that same analogy back then. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and I've had pineapple pepperoni. How about this? Thin crust pizza that is overcooked a little bit, not burnt, but really crispy mm -hmm. with, with pepperoni where the pepperonis are turned brown and, and crispy. Uh -huh. yeah what do you guys think i'd eat it oh so good and i also like deep dish so it's just two different things well have you had lunch yet no 
<laughs> I see what's going on here. <laughs> You're not a better person for hating pine- pineapple on pizza. <laughs> All right. I figured Will. it out. That's why Will's obsessed with cookies and pizzas. And <laughs> next, you're going to talk about hamburgers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got it. I got to end it, guys. We'll see All you right. later. <laughs>